San Francisco authorities are coming up with a way to get rid of these trees. But time and money are proving to be big roadblocks to the plan that can't come soon enough. KPX 5's Ann Makovic joins us live in the city now. And Ann, did the weather have a little something to do with this? I bet it did. It did, but really the trees make up themselves, these ficus trees. Now, I'm at one of the scenes where a ficus tree fell down, affecting muni lines, which are about to reopen. But look at the healthy trees that remain. They're very top heavy. And all it takes is a little bit of water for parts of the trees to be basically sheared off by their own weight. Rather than the whole trees falling down, they're simply falling apart. This tree fell at the corner of 23rd and Potrero Street, hitting and trapping a man at about 7.30 a.m. Once crews freed him, he was taken to nearby SF General Hospital with head injuries. The tree also brought down Muni lines, leaving a Muni bus stranded. Crews had to turn it around with the help of a truck. This tree is a ficus tree, one of four that fell in the city today. Over the last uh, few years, we have been concerned about uh, the aging uh, ficus trees. Earlier this morning, a 40-foot ficus split in half and fell on top of several cars at Steiner and Eddy Streets. No one was injured. Nearby, a branch fell on a car at Goff and Post Streets. And another ficus tree came crashing down on Lombard near Joe DiMaggio Park. All of the trees were aging, installed by the city decades ago. They're top-heavy, non-native trees. We're starting to see they are a little bit more problematic than we thought. And so we are... Uh, aggressively looking at the best way to uh, replace the aging ones. But it will probably take years before they're gone. Uh, removing a ficus tree costs between $500 and $1,500, and there are about 200 of them left standing right now. All right, speaking of the rain, how much of it did we see today? Let's check in with Lawrence Carr.